Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Rice has become the second most important food staple after maize in Ghana and its consumption keeps increasing as a result of population growth, urbanization and change in consumer habits. The major growing season for rice in Ghana are June in the north and April to May in the south. The Agronomy of Rice Step 1. Site Selection Rice can be cultivated on uplands and lowlands. A good site for rice cultivation in the lowlands will have the following characteristics. Loamy, silty or clay soil, an open area, and a permanent or seasonal stream of irrigation. Upland rice grows best on well-drained sandy loam and loamy soils or soils with shallow underground water table with good water holding capacities. The criteria for a good site are as follows. The field should be well isolated. Example, a minimum of about five meters away from another rice field. The land must be fertile. The land should have adequate irrigation and a proper drainage system. The field should be free from weeds and volunteer plants from the previous crops. The field should not be infested with pests and diseases that affect rice. Topsoil should be deep enough for good root development. Do not select land that was previously sown for a crop that had atrazine application. Step 2. Land Preparation Land can be prepared conventionally using tractor or animal traction to plow and harrow in the savanna and transition zones. A good soil tillage practice contributes to effective fertilizer use, increased soil porosity and aeration. The practice also has positive impact on germination, seedling emergence, crop establishment and weed control. Zero tillage may be done by small-scale farmers using total weed killers such as glyphosate and paraquat. Step 3. Seed Selection It is important to advise farmers to plant improved certified varieties. Choose varieties recommended by researchers for a particular area. Variety of rice to be cultivated should have a high yielding potential resistance to pest and diseases. Meet consumer taste and preferences with good cooking quality. Varieties include Agra Rice, Bewa or Jasmine 85, Amanquetia, Sikamo, GR18, Wita 7, Digang, Tox 3108, and Narika Rice. Duration of varieties are Short duration, 80 to 120 days. Medium duration, 120 to 150 days. Long duration, more than 150 days. Step 4. Conduct a germination test before planting. Stages of conducting germination test. 1. Select 100 seeds. 2. Plant the seeds in a small area and cover with soil. In place of this, you can also place the seeds on a moist cloth 
cotton or tissue paper and cover. 3. Count the number of seeds that germinated between 4 and 7 days. Seed selection clues based on germination test. If more than 80 germinates, plant 3 to 4 seeds per hill. If 60 to 80 seeds germinate, then increase seed rate by about 20%, that is 5 to 6 seeds per hill. If less than 60 germinates, don't use the seeds for planting. Obtain fresh seeds. Step 5. Clean seed. In seed cleaning, the farmer can use the salt, water and egg technique. Get a container, for example, a basin. Pour water into it. Mix water with salt or urea until a freshly laid egg can float on the surface of the water. Pour your seed into the water and stir. Allow the mixture to settle. After a while, all the light and insect infested grains will float on the surface of the water. The healthy grains will settle at the bottom of the container. Remove the damaged grains that are floating on the surface of the water. Remove the healthy seeds from the bottom of the container and wash two or three times in clean water before planting. Step 6. Planting Methods Rice can be grown at the nursery under wet and dry conditions or can be pre-germinated and planted directly onto the field. There are two types of nurseries, dry nursery beds and wet nursery beds. When rice is nursed, transplant seedlings from the nursery about 21 days after seeding. Transplant at 40 to 50 kilograms per hectare. Remember to avoid transplanting shocks. Below is recommended plant spacing and seeding rate. For drilling, the plant spacing is 30 cm by 1.5 cm at one seed per hill. The seeding rate is 60 kg per hectare or the seeding rate per acre is 24 kg. For dibbling, the plant spacing is 20 cm by 20 cm at four seed per hill. The seeding rate per hectare is 50 kg and the seeding rate per acre is 20 kg. In the case of broadcasting, the seeding rate per hectare should be 80 kg and the seeding rate per acre should be 30 kg. However, for a variety with tillers, 20 by 15 cm or 20 by 10 cm spacing may be adopted. Note that it's always important to rogue your rice fields. Roguing is the act of removing off types from a rice field to ensure purity. Advantages of roguing ensures genetic purity, ensures high productivity to farmers, ensures good quality of seeds or grains, ensures the requisite adjustment of meal during milling, minimizes percentage of broken rice. Step 7. Fertilizer Application Types of fertilizers Apply organic manure as follows. Spread 140 to 160 bags per hectare cow dung or 80 bags poultry manure per hectare. Each weighing 50 kilograms and work into the soil before planting under rain-fed conditions. Spread 140 to 160 bags per hectare cow dung or 80 bags poultry manure per hectare, each weighing 50 kilograms and puddle into the soil two weeks before planting under irrigated conditions. Inorganic or chemical fertilizers used in rice production are NPK 151515, sulfate of ammonia, urea, etc. The methods of chemical fertilizer application include dibbling, side placement, broadcasting, mode of application, first application. If rice is transplanted, Apply 8 bags per hectare NPK 151515 15, 15, when rice is one week or if rice is direct seeded. Apply 6 bags per hectare NPK 151515 15, 15, after weeding. 
that is two to three weeks after seeding. Second application, top dress with three bags per hectare sulfate of ammonia or one and a half bag urea just before booting. Time of application, for basal application, two to three weeks after seedling emergence. For top dressing, five to six weeks after seedling emergence. Step 8. Weed regularly. Weed rice field at 3 and 6 weeks after seeding or transplanting. For best weed control, maintain water at a depth of 10 to 15 centimeters in banded fields. Methods of weed control in rice cultivation include preventive, cultural, mechanical and chemical. That is the application of the recommended herbicides using the right formulation. Note that chemical control should be the last resort when managing weeds. Step 9. Pest and Disease Control Rice blast and brown spot are the major diseases attacking rice. Stem borers are the major insect pests. Others are common insect pests, that is stem and leaf pests, plant and leaf hopper, leaf beetles, grain pests, root feeders, rodents, beds. Blast, a fungal disease attacks the plant in all stages. If the plants are attacked at the early stages, the grain do not fill. High relative humidity, that is more than 90% and high nitrogen application favor its spread. It is seed and airborne. Narrow brown spots spread rapidly if good screening for diseased seedlings is not practiced. Resistant varieties, where available, should be grown and hygienic measures adopted. For effective control of pests and diseases, buy treated seeds from certified seed dealers. Use tolerant varieties. Identify diseased plants and remove them. Apply pesticides when pest and diseases incidence is high. Step 10. Harvesting and post-harvest management. Just before harvesting, do a final inspection of the rice field and rogue all of type plants or weeds to be harvested. Rice is ready to be harvested when 80% of the panicles are brown. Cut stalks, bundle and stack or pile them. Thresh the rice and haul. Variety of rice to be cultivated should have a high yielding potential, resistant to pests and diseases, meet consumer taste and preferences with good cooking quality. <music> <music>